Playing video games in the late 80s and early 90s was always a challenge. Luckily, us gamers had tons of video game magazines to help us get through the tough times and perhaps more importantly, let us know what games were good and which ones were trash. Magazine game reviewers rarely gave perfect scores to video games, even if the games were damn near flawless. Many of the magazines took the position that no game is without its fault and rarely gave a game a perfect score. Well, today on The Big Retro Show, some of my favorite YouTubers and I will be talking about the games that are perfect in every way possible. Hey, what's up you guys? This is Los from The Big Retro Show. Thank you very much for tuning in today. So let's get into what my guests feel are the perfect games. And after they give you their opinion, I'm going to give you mine. So first up is my good friend Chris from Telesplash Gaming. Now Telesplash Gaming is an awesome channel. He does video game content, he does pickups, he does reviews. He's on the hunt for a complete N64 collection and those videos have been highly entertaining. So go ahead and subscribe to him and check him out in his segment of The Perfect Video Game. What is up Los and the gaming community and when I think of the perfect game man there are so many classics that I always want to go to but when I think of all of the nostalgia that I have and then I think of all the love for modern games there's really one that really comes to mind when I think of close to perfection and it's going to surprise you but it's Cuphead. I absolutely loved Cuphead. I went out and actually bought an Xbox just to play Cuphead on it. And I'm not joking. I went out, went to GameStop, bought an Xbox because I saw the first trailer for it. And it took everything I loved about 8-bit, 16-bit side scrollers, shmups, boss fights. It is everything you loved about difficulty of the NES hard, but it brought it to modern gaming. The graphical style of that old kind of Mickey Mouse style Steamboat Willy mixed in with the modern HD. I just... It, if you can't tell, I love it, and I was excited about it. And to me, it's just so perfect, because there's not a single level in that game where you go through and you think, okay, I'm never gonna beat this. But there's times when you're going, holy crap, it's hard. But every time you do it, you're always going, one more try, one more try, one more try. And I said that over and over again. To me, I love the hard aspect, but it's not so difficult that you want to pull your hair out and call it quits. It took a while for me to beat it, but it was so gratifying. The levels were fun. The bosses were amazing. They were funny. If you actually look at the animations, it was actually just incredible. So for me, if you like that old school side scrollers, the shmups, it's got a mixture of both of that and it does it to perfection. And it's another classic co-op game, which I absolutely love. You can play it by yourself, but you can play couch co-op, which a lot of games are lacking. So for me, if I think of a game that is almost perfect, it takes everything I love about that old school NES, Genesis, Super Nintendo, and then with my modern day stuff, I mean, it's gotta be Cuphead. Excellent choice to kick it off, Chris. Cuphead is one of these games that is remarkable. It is perfect. I think that Cuphead is almost like playing a work of art. I mean, at least that's what I felt when I was playing it. The other thing about Cuphead is, as you mentioned in your video, is that you want to keep trying over and over again to beat the bosses in the game. And the sense of accomplishment that you get after you beat one of these bosses is immense. You feel like, I don't know, like you just climbed Mount Everest or something. <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much, Chris. Make sure that you guys subscribe to his channel and support him. Up next, we have one of my homeboys. His name is MC Murr. Murr is one of my favorite channels on YouTube. He does a lot of video game hunting. He does flea market flips. He does product reviews. He does a lot of retro content. He does modern content, too. Murr is an excellent YouTuber, and I'm so glad that he can come up to the Big Retro Show and show us his pick for the perfect video game. What's up everybody, NC Murr here for Los and the Big Retro Show. And today we've been asked to discuss the perfect video game. Does such a thing exist? You could argue no, because there's always gripes and complaints you can have with a game, right? But if I've got to select, and I have thought about this, what immediately comes to mind is Grand Theft Auto Vice City. That's right. An absolute triumph and a true realization of the potential that this franchise had. Not that Grand Theft Auto 3 wasn't amazing. I mean, that was the arrival, right? That's where we finally realized what this was going to be. 
going forward and it was breathtaking but Vice City just did no wrong, right? It, it even capitalized on that. It even added to that. We added in the motorcycles. We added in these characters that were just unbelievably memorable in a setting that, in my opinion, just cannot be topped. I mean, every bit of this story was absolutely gripping. It wasn't just what you were doing. Not that there wasn't a lot to do, because there certainly was. The game looked phenomenal. There was so much hype around it, you know, when it came out, and it lived up to every last bit of that. There were no real glitches or issues with this game. I realized that other people's experiences may differ from mine, but I just never had a problem with it. This game did no wrong. It had an absolute star-studded cast. Of course, you're playing as Tommy Versetti, voiced by Ray Liotta, which really just drove it home for me. You know, I, that was just... He could not have been a cooler character, and Ray Liotta couldn't have been a better pick. For the voice actor for that character and then you had people like miss cleo the phone psychic and blondie i mean it was a star-studded wild cast on the voice acting on this thing and then even more star-studded perhaps is the soundtrack to this game i mean the minute i got on this game and hopped in a car i'll never forget it slayer raining blood kicks in and my jaw hit the floor and stayed there. I mean, they even had to publish the soundtrack for this separately, and I actually never did buy it back then, and I regret that. I really would have liked to have had that in the collection, but yeah. Grand Theft Auto Vice City was everything, and I realized that Grand Theft Auto has done amazing things since then, but this really set standards after just having set standards. Again, the game just did no wrong, and if I have to pick a perfect game, that's not an easy thing to do. There's lots of great games out there that have small flaws here and there, and I can't even think of any when I think of this game. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, there you have it. I'm interested to see what some of the other submissions end up being, because that is a tough question. And I very much appreciate having been made a part of this collab. Thank you so much to Lowe's at the Big Retro Show for having me on. MC Murr signing off. We'll see you next time. Murr, you can't go wrong with Vice City, bro. That is an awesome game. I used to play that game all the time. I mean, every point that you, you hit on, I was like, yeah, man, the soundtrack, the voice acting, Ray Liotta was in there. He finally gave a voice to the anti-hero of the series and it was awesome the pastel colors and who can forget about love fist <laughs> they were awesome and the mission that they had with the with the limousine that they were in in that game i always have problems with that mission i don't know why but anyways yeah man vice city is one of these games that stands the test of time and from what I hear, they're remaking this game for the Switch. I think they're remaking the original GTA 3, Vice City, as well as San Andreas for the Switch. I'm really excited to see how that's going to turn out. Uh, so thank you, Murr. Make sure that you guys subscribe to his channel. You will not be disappointed with MC Murr. Up next is my friend from across the pond. His name is Geeky Nate. Nate, take it away. So what is the perfect video game for me? Well, it's going to have to be Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight really brought together everything of the platform genre, in my opinion. It brought stuff that we couldn't have back in the SNES or NES either, with the very complex background art that they've got going on. Um, the moveset is basic. It's not very complex. Uh, you've got your pogoing uh, from DuckTales, which is a pretty cool feature. You can use it quite well. There's uh, skill building up as well in the game. So as you progress through the story, you progress through, you learn different features, you gain new power-ups, and you can keep using them as you progress through. So the game, although it does get difficult, the power-ups counter how bad that difficulty curve would be if you weren't getting those power-ups. Um, so yeah, I, I, I really love it. And then we've got all of the DLC. So obviously I've got even more Amiibo because that's what I like to collect. But uh, I'll... First one, I think, was um, with this lovely chappy and you're playing the potions. It introduced a whole new way to play the entire game. It expanded on the story. It made it really fun. Same with Septonite. Septonite was really fun as well. Uh, and the most recent one. So, yeah, this game has been out, what, five years? It might be older. 
because it was on the Wii U. It could be older. I, I don't know. But now we've just got the King Knight expansion. And again, that's really fun. And it introduces another new feature, which is the card game as well. So yeah, for me, um, Shovel Knight, if you haven't played it, go check it out. You will absolutely love it. It's from Yacht, Yacht Boat Games. Uh, you, no, Yacht Club. Yacht Club Games. <laughs> um, but I love it. You will love it. It's definitely best on a Nintendo platform because the Amiibo do actually add to the game. It's not a great thing they add. They just add these little fairies that help you out, but it's still fun. Um, so yeah, get the game, check it out, enjoy it. To me, it's a perfect game. Nate, Shovel Knight is an awesome pixel art game. I'm glad that you were talking about this game in this episode because this is one of these games that takes you back to childhood, man. This is a game that would fit perfectly on the Nintendo Entertainment System, but it's a modern game too. And as you said, the mechanics of like DuckTales, a DuckTail jump was in there and the boss battles were phenomenal. The story, you know, it was awesome too. I love the story and I love kind of like the traversing of the towns and, and all of that stuff. So Shovel Knight is an awesome game and I'm so glad that you talked about this game. If you guys like everything geeky, if you guys like the MCU and Pokemon and video games, mosey over to Geeky Nate's channel and make sure you subscribe and support him. Well, I guess now it's my turn to tell you guys what I feel my perfect game is. So let's take a look. When I think of the perfect game, only Red Dead Redemption 2 comes to mind. The game is everything that I love about video games and I find myself reflecting on my playthrough of the game with great memories. Whenever I play video games, I expect to be taken away from reality and thrust into a world that I can have fun in. I want to be immersed in a world that is away from real life and one that I can do whatever I want in. And that is what RDR2 does best. This won't be a review of the game because there are tons of those online, but I will talk about why this game is perfect, at least to me. First up is the characters in the story. You play as Arthur Morgan, a big hearted member of one of the most ruthless gangs in the Wild West, headed by the charismatic Dutch Vanderlyn. As Dutch's right hand man, you have a high position in the gang and you are respected. Each of the gang members, including Micah Bell, Hosea, John Marston, who is the protagonist of RDR1, and several others have their own personalities and missions that are specific to them. In my playthrough, I grew to care about these characters and despise some of them. Without giving away any spoilers, the ending is heartbreaking, but carries a glimmer of hope into RDR1. Just shut your mouth. Come on then. Another big reason this game is perfect is its graphics. RDR2 harnesses every bit of power inside the Xbox One and the PS4 to create some of the most beautiful graphics in gaming. The game draws mountains, rivers, streams, towns, prairies, and swamps with outstanding detail and clarity. It's almost like every bit of the landscape is alive, adding to the sensation that you are totally immersed in the Wild West. At any given moment while running from mission to mission, you can encounter numerous happenings that will take you completely off your course in the most wonderful ways possible. For example, you may be heading into town to complete a mission and find a group of horses grazing in the field near the road. You can easily hop off your current horse, mosey over to the group of wild horses and tame one of them. Then make it your main horse and finish the mission on the new horse. There are several stranger missions sprinkled throughout the game that add to the storyline and really paint a picture of the character of Arthur Morgan. Like most of the games in the Rockstar family, you can choose to be a nice outlaw or a real bastard. Shut your mouth, mister.
One of the most satisfying parts of the game is the gunplay. It takes its nods from the cover system and the aiming from RDR1 as well as GTA 5. Another big reason why I love this game is the hunting and fishing. And yes, I know this sounds lame, but these are superb aspects of the game not to be missed. I can't tell you how many hours I spent tracking a legendary animal or fishing for hours on end trying to bag the big one. But it's not just about killing time when you are hunting and fishing. You can use the hides you collect from your prey to make unique clothing items and other things. You can also cook the meat that you get from these animals and maintain your health cores. The sound in this game is truly special. The characters even sing and play instruments when you have parties at your base camps. It's all so cool. One of the songs in the game, Unshaken, played by the legendary R&B singer D'Angelo, is the best song I have ever heard in a video game. Period. These are facts, folks. It is because of these aspects and several more that I could talk on for days and days that RDR2 is the most perfect game ever created. In my opinion, of course. And that's gonna do it for the Big Retro Show today, guys. A big thank you to MC Murr, Telesplash Gaming, and Geeky Nate for helping me out. Again, make sure that you guys go and support their channels. I will leave a link to their channels in the description of this video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give us a comment, let us know what games you consider perfect. And until the next one, I will see you on the Big Retro Show. Peace.